When we first see bugs around the house, our first instinct is to kill the insect one way or another. But there are some bugs that are better left alive or could actually harm you if you touch them. In this video, we're going to go over a few insects that you should never touch or squish. Seeing a house centipede crawling around the house can be very discomforting. But you shouldn't kill this multi-legged crawler even if you want to. But even or not, house centipedes can actually help you out if you let them lurk around your home. They're known for killing all of the unwanted pests in your house and even the ones you probably wouldn't be able to see. What's even better about these little guys is that unlike spiders or other insects, they don't leave any nests or webs behind. House centipedes also don't carry any sort of disease or eat your wood, all they want is some food. But even if they are doing more than good than bad, not everyone wants house centipedes in their homes, which is fair considering how creepy they look. The best way to get rid of the house centipedes is by putting them in a jar and taking them outside. After that, you should try thoroughly cleaning your house and getting rid of all the bugs, that way no house centipede will ever lurk in your home. If you have a big garden, you'll notice that ground beetles are everywhere. Even after you get rid of them all, they just keep coming back. But ground beetles are actually great for your garden and are an insect you should keep around. They can get rid of pests like maggots, slugs, snails, and cutworms. Just one ground beetle can eat around 50 caterpillars in its lifetime. The good thing about ground beetles is that they are nocturnal, so you should only really see them out during the night. In the morning, all of them go into hiding under the grass or dirt itself. Ground beetles also aren't harmful to humans at all. At most, they'll pinch your skin if you annoy them. They don't do any kind of damage to your clothes or walls either. While a lot of insects in this list are pretty harmless or useful, this isn't the case for red imported fire ants. Not only do they look super scary, but they're extremely dangerous too. If these insects manage to bite you, they will inject their venom into you. It'll make your skin feel like it's completely on fire. What's worse is fire ants sting you in swarms. Hundreds of them will gang up against you and bite you several times. If you've been bit by one of these ferocious insects, you can get some relief by applying ice. But if it gets bad, you should go to the hospital and see what they suggest. Sometimes their bites can develop into an allergy, which can be fatal. While it's not too common, fire ants have even killed some people, which is why you shouldn't touch them no matter what happens. If you happen to see one of their mounds in your home, you can drench the area with a pesticide, but make sure to wear gloves and a mask. Praying mantis might look a little scary to some people, but they really mean no harm. These faithful insects are just trying to go about their day without any humans stomping on them. If you have a garden, praying mantis can actually be a great bug to have around. They'll just about kill any kind of pests around the area that would eat your precious plants anyways. While they might not look like it, praying mantis can be very aggressive towards pests smaller than them. Some even call them the Kung Fu Panda of the insect world. If you do see this bug in your house or somewhere it shouldn't be, do not kill it. Just bring it out in the garden where it can actually be useful. Ticks always manage a way to come into your house, whether it's through you or your pets. Ticks carry diseases that can be passed on to humans and animals when they bite. These diseases can be life-threatening if they aren't treated properly. If you get bit by a tick, they'll probably stay on you. They won't detach for a few days until they're done drawing all the blood they want from you. If you want to remove a tick, use a pair of tweezers and pull it straight out. Afterward, make sure to thoroughly clean the area with an antibacterial cleanser. Put the tick in a Ziploc bag and dispose of it. Never crush a tick with your hands. After getting rid of the tick, you should always check in with the doctor in case you have a tick-borne disease. Even though most of us know not to kill bees at this point, there are still a few people that don't understand just how important they are for our environment. While they might be a little annoying and make all kinds of buzzing noises in our ears, honeybees are the main reason why most of our plants even exist. They pollinate all the plants and even help fertilize them. Unfortunately, bees have been declining at a very alarming rate because of climate change and lack of habitat. That's why you shouldn't ever kill these insects. Also, if you do harm a bee, there's a big chance it'll fight back and potentially sting you. The worst case scenario is that it'll call over all of its buddies and they'll all sting you together. A sting from a honeybee needs medical attention 
right away. The Black Widow spider is known for being deadly, which is why most people rush to kill them right away. But if you see a Black Widow, you should never really rush anything. A bite from this spider could cost you your own life. The area where they bite will probably redden up and feel burning pain in the area. But it only gets worse. After a few hours, you'll start feeling pain in your chest and abdomen. This pain probably won't go away for a few days and will cramp even after you've been treated. Make sure to go to the hospital right away if you get bitten even if you don't feel any pain. Here's the thing, black widow spiders are not aggressive at all. They'll never actually bite you unless you provoke them or in self-defense, which is why you shouldn't kill them with just your hand or anything like that. The best way to get rid of these spiders is through pesticides or even through a vacuum. Just make sure it doesn't get in contact with your skin. We've grown up knowing monarch butterflies and caterpillars as peaceful insects and chances are you've probably touched one too. Monarch butterflies are actually a great example of don't judge the book by its cover. This is because they are one of the deadliest insects ever. This is because they eat milkweed, which is extremely toxic for humans and can disrupt our cardiac contractions. By touching or eating these butterflies, anything can get intoxicated. That's why you should keep not only yourself away from these guys, but also any pets you might have that go outside your house or in your garden. Ladybugs are usually all over gardens. Most people let these lady-like insects be, but some actually go as far as to squish them. If you're one of these people, you should stop immediately. Ladybugs are great for your garden and actually eat all kinds of annoying pests all over your garden. On top of that, they're not irritating at all, unlike some other insects. They actually look pretty cute when they're just walking around the leaves in your garden. If you see them inside your house or in the toilet, just pick them up and carry them to the outdoors instead of squishing them. Most spiders are actually pretty harmless. The only annoying thing that they do is make webs all over your home. But not all spiders are this way. Brown recluse spiders are very common spiders, but they're extremely dangerous to humans and especially children. If you get bitten, they can cause some serious health issues, which is why you shouldn't let them touch you at all. If you do see these suckers around your house, it's best to call a pest control company right away, especially since they can and will cause an infestation in your home. All right, which one of these house bugs scare you the most? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Trend Joint, and we'll see you in the next one.